Hello everyone, how are you? Today we are going to discuss another question regarding MRCS based on EMRCS. We will discuss all the questions of EMRCS, all the questions of Fauzia sheets and recalls. So stay tuned with this channel, with subscribe the channel for more videos. So here the question, which of the following cranial foramen of pairing are incorrect? Which of the following canal foramina pairing incorrect? That means in case of cranial foramen or foramen in the skull base, which uh, of the foramen and which of the content is not correct uh, uh, according to the followings. So here are the options, options carotid canal and internal carotid artery, foramen ovale and mandibular nerve, optic canal and ophthalmic artery, optic canal and ophthalmic nerve and from in rotundum and maxillary nerve so here we can see a picture in this picture we can see this is the internal carotid artery and it arises from the common carotid artery from this artery uh, a common carotid artery bifurcate into external carotid artery and internal carotid artery internal carotid artery enters into cranial cavity through a canal here we can see this is the canal through this canal internal carotid artery enters into the cranial cavity and this canal is known as carotid canal so internal carotid artery passes through the carotid canal in the second picture we can see this is the internal carotid artery the internal carotid artery arises from the common carotid artery and it passes through this canal and on the other hand internal jugular vein you can see here it passes through jugular fossa and in this uh, picture here we can see this is the optic canal this canal is the optic canal and through the optic canal two important structure passes you can see this is a large nerve and it goes to the eyeball so this is called optic nerve so through the optic canal optic nerve passes and we can see another vessel is going another artery is uh, going to uh, um, through the optic canal and this uh, artery is known as ophthalmic artery so through the optic canal optic nerve and ophthalmic artery the two structure passes no other nerve passes through the optic canal so through the optic canal ophthalmic artery and optic nerve passes so here we can see from in rotundum and through the rotundum the maxillary division of trigeminal nerve passes and the pneumonies are romax that means ro means from in rotundum and max for maxillary so through the from in rotundum maxillary branch of the trigeminal nerve passes then superior orbital fissure superior orbital fissure who is uh, lies in the cranial cavity uh, in the esphenoid bone and uh, through the superior orbital fissure some of the structure passes the structure are oculomotor nerve that is third cranial nerve then fourth cranial nerve trochlear nerve then uh, here we can see ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve v1 and abducens nerve that is sixth cranial nerve so three four five one and six nerve this this four nerve passes through the superior orbital fissure and uh, some other artery or vessels we can see recurrent meningeal artery lacrimal frontal and nasociliary nerve and this nerve are, are the branches of the ophthalmic nerve and superior ophthalmic vein so this structure passes through the superior orbital fissure so our final answer here we can see the optic canal and ophthalmic nerve because in uh, through the optic canal optic nerve and ophthalmic artery passes but no other nerve passes and other is like uh, other options are carotid canal internal carotid artery it is true from an overly mandibular nerve it is also true optic canal and ophthalmic artery it is true and from a rotundum and maxillary nerve they are true so the false answer here is optic canal and ophthalmic nerve thank you all